Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my January fabric haul. So I bought a few things in January, um, not as many as previous months because I am trying to just be really quite focused in what I'm buying and trying to buy them a little bit more for actual projects I have in mind. So thinking about my Make 9 but also thinking about holes in my wardrobe, like I do need to make some casual weekend t-shirts and jumpers and things. So a lot of these fabrics are for those um, types of things just because that's what I'm kind of wanting to wear at the moment. Also I have started having a look at some fabrics for the Sewing Patterns and Prints Challenge that I'm hosting with Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne and Samantha from Purple Sewing Cloud so I can have a look and see what fabrics are coming up for the themed months and actually start buying some things for the upcoming months as well so I can get ahead with my makes um, and inspiration things for those. So I'm just going to go through the different fabrics that I got and show you them. So this is my first fabric and this is one of the first ones I bought this month and this is this beautiful art gallery fabric so it's a cotton jersey and it's got these little cat faces on it and I got this from like so amazing and I saw that she posted this on her Instagram and I instantly had to buy it because it's blue and it's got cat faces on which is amazing much like the cat fabric I'm I'm wearing here which is also from like so amazing um, is another cat one I am going to make an Elliot uh, sweater out of it or maybe just a jumper I'm not really sure exactly um, what pattern but it will be a casual t-shirt but I'm looking forward to making this because I can wear cats more so <laughs> my cats just come in so if you hear me owing that's um, why that's who it is okay um, so my next fabric is this one and this is a fabric from Minerva Crafts and this is one that I was gifted for a blog post for this month and it's this really lovely kind of cranberry colour and it's got slight rib to it and I'm going to make a blackwood cardigan with this uh, which I think will be really pretty um, and I think it will work quite well. It is slightly thinner so I actually think that it will work for spring as well so really looking forward to using that one for a blackwood cardigan. So my next fabric is this one. So I actually went to a bath sewing meetup more recently and we went to Bath Sewing Studio, which I actually didn't know existed until this point. But I did buy a few things there. They had a really lovely selection of fabrics and actually Bath isn't too far away from me. So um, definitely worth checking out there as well. So I got this one. So this is a cotton jersey. So I just bought a metre of this. But I really liked the little um, flowers on it. And you've got blue and then the teal and then a little bit of pink. And it isn't a white background, but I'm actually kind of finding myself a bit more drawn to ones with a white background because I think I can wear that with jeans and then with a colourful cardigan over the top, um, which I think looks quite nice. So that's why I got that one. And that is an organic cotton as well. Um, really nice quality. Um, really looking forward to sewing that one. And that's just going to be a t-shirt or a long sleeved top just to wear casually on the weekend. There's a theme i'm hurting <laughs> my next one is this one so it's another stripe so this is the second of my stripes that i now own but i really liked the look of this one because it's white with a with the blue stripe but it looks like a kind of a chalk line so it's kind of a broken line which i really quite like so that's i thought that was really cute and actually my sister said she quite liked it as well so I actually bought two meters for us to, to both have a t-shirt out of that so quite pleased with that one again really nice quality cotton jersey perfect for a t-shirt my next one is just a plain jersey so this is a polyester and cotton mix in this really lovely blue color but there is a slight white marl to it as well but really lovely color and definitely will be great for just a basic t-shirt or like a long sleeve top jumper again um, more casual clothes to keep you nice and warm while it is a little bit colder so really pleased with that because actually is a really good weight but also really lovely color really like the color of that one 
My last two are these two. So I was really excited when I saw these there. So these are brushed cotton kind of tartans. And I was really excited to see them because this, these are exactly the fabrics that I imagine making a shirt out of to wear at the moment. And you might have seen on my uh, plans video for 2019. One of my make nine items is a shirt. And I've got my eye on the Deer and Do, I think it's Br Bria shirt. And so I want to get that pattern and make a shirt. And I really envision it being made out of a check. And I haven't seen many checks around. Although since I bought these, I have seen a few more. And I've also seen a few people post uh, makes on Instagram, which I've been really inspired by. So I got these two that I'm hoping to make, but I just need to get that Deer and Do pattern because I haven't got it yet. Um, and I've got so many other patterns, but I really kind of wanted that one because I really liked the, the waistband on that one. So the first one is this one. So it's got a navy blue background and then it's got the little bit of mustard and lighter blue and then green. So a little check. So really pleased with that. And it's really nice and soft. And actually it's not too see-through. Um, so I think it'll be really good for a shirt. And that might work for the winter layered with a jumper. But also for the summer as well. It should be really nice because it's cotton. And the next one is this one. So a slightly bigger check again with the green running through it and then the blue and then I think this is a blue background or it might be a black background but it looks quite blue um, as well so really pleased with those two and I just can't get I, I've got other things that I want to make but I just can't get making a shirt out of my mind at the moment so I'm kind of stuck in a bit of an odd place because I'm really inspired to do that but I know it will be a bit more of an involved make so I kind of need to wait and see or maybe just get started on something else so I can kind of move away from that for the moment because I'm not going to get I'm not going to have a chance to get that pattern quite yet. So I'm going to have to just uh, wait it out and then work with some other things for the time being. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.